We installed this roof on a previous video. If you haven't seen it, I'll, I'll leave the link down there so you can go back to the other video. But this is now the second phase and that's where we're going to do the flashing on this door and around the skylight. So this video is going to help you to understand how to do this. This is one of the most important parts of a roof if you have a door is the door pan. It's called a pan. Now let me show you what the pan is. I removed the door. There must be a pan here. A pan is where it sits underneath this door. So let me explain it to you. So underneath this door This just sits on there and if the wind blows, the water will blow underneath this into your house here. This is one of the most common problems on roofs with a deck and a door. The leak is almost almost always underneath the door. So the transition, you need to make sure if water blows underneath here like this, you can see when it sits there, right? Like there, water can get in there, mm -hmm. underneath. So you need to protect that part of the roof. So in the old days, they used to make a pan out of copper. Let me show you. Something like this. And I, I'm not, I don't have all the material to do a copper, but it's something like this. They put a pan like this. And this is what they used to do, okay? And then <clears throat> that would be inside there. So when, and then the copper will come over this. So when water comes in here, it can flow out again. That was the idea in the old days. And this should not be higher than the floor because you don't want to see it. This is the floor inside the house. So I want to show you an easier way to do it. There's no need to do copper and soldering and you don't need to do that. Now, I want to show you how easy it is to do. To make a pan, so water cannot leak into the house, it's very simple. You paint um, turbo poly seal. You take the turbo poly seal and you paint it in here, just like that. Very, very quick, easy. So this is the floor of the inside of the house. And I'm going to cut myself a fleece. A little bit longer than what I want. And I put the fleece right in there. Watch. Right there, it goes up, goes up like that, in a corner, and up in the side here as well. Like you do like this. Like that, you see that? Make that corner nice there. And I'm building a pan out of this material. So then, you coat this again with a turbo and no ways can water go into the house here. Now I have to do this as well, I'm going to show you now. I have to do coming over this plywood and over the roof here. But this is now the inside part, there you go. All right. So. Another place where water leaks, if you don't have that, let me show you. Very, very, very. Water will travel underneath this wood here. Underneath here, you see here? Water travels on both sides and it will go right here and right there. And it will fill up this pan. 
You cannot not have this. You have to have this. Okay. All right. If you make the pan, the water will sit there and wants to flow out again. This is very, very crucial here. Water would flow right into this corner. See where the membrane is? See the corner there? It will flow down here on the sides, right to this flashing, okay? So you need to make sure this is covered. So this is what I'm doing next. And again, very important. This is one of the most important steps if you have a door. Uh, like that, a little bit longer. Okay, and I put it on here. So I'll put it there. Cut it in a the corner there. Okay, and I cut a corner here. So it can go like that and cut the excess off. So, like that, and down like that. So I'm covering everything, like right there. Make sure you cover everything where water can get in. And there you go. Cut myself a piece. Cut a piece there. Something like that. See that? Beautiful. Now I know water cannot leak there. This completes the pan on the door. Very, very, very sealed properly. It will never leak. Tomorrow I will put the door back because I cannot put it back. It's wet now. It takes 24 hours and I'll put the door back and then you'll see. This is beautiful. Um, So water cannot, water will get in underneath the dorsal and it can come over onto the roof. That's important, okay? Okay, so I, yesterday I installed the pan underneath this door and I want to show you the purpose of this pan and how it works. If you, if you just realize how important that is and that's where most common leaks are on a flat roof. Let me show you. I'm going to put some water in here to make sure that you get the effect of a rain, right? And see what happens. Let me, I'm gonna remove the door. And look here. Look. Water went underneath the door. This is super, super important. That's why I used the turbo poly seal and I made a pan, it's called a pan, a door pan but I went over the roof here, there's no ways water can get into the house here. If you don't have this properly done, water will seep down to your, uh, whatever you have downstairs or in your wall. And this, see the water comes in underneath that door and it comes out again, see? Very, very important. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do flashing on a skylight. Let's go there. Um, this is part of a skylight and it fits over a box like this. It's called the curb. So normally it's just a box like this and the box is six, eight inches higher than the roof, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do the flashing around this curb or the box, okay? So you say take the same material of the roof or what you have and you bring it right up like this right right there to the to the top there see just like that now what i like to do is is to secure it better so i'm gonna i'm gonna flash it to the to the bottom and now this is peeler stick the peeler stick watch the previous video what material I'm using. Home Depot sometimes sells the, the, the peel and stick. SPS at self-adhering cap sheet. 
okay? But you also need the base. It goes for $125. But I don't see the base. But I heat this up. I heat it up like that. And I stick it to the to the curb. Just like that. Right in the corner. See there? Look there. Oh, nice. Like there. Again, you have to have a round nose All trowel. Right. We at Home Depot came to look for a trowel, the round nose trowel. I don't see it. But normally, if you want to come and look for it, it would be in this section, the round nose trowel. You have to get the round nose trowel, the bull nose, okay? The trowels I like to use is these. Very hard to gauge. It's called a gauging trowel. See there? G force gauging trowel. Get yourself a gauging trowel before you start doing any roofing, okay? Or this, this is, this, it, it doesn't puncture the roof and it's easy to do tar and anything detail, okay? And that's it. See that? So it sticks, look. See it sticks? Very nice. That's one way. And then you heat up the, the bottom like this. After you're heating it up, you push it down, and that sticks. So the flashing here is done, but what's not done is this corner. Come and see this. So I'm going to cut it like this, okay? So fold it over. See there? Just like that. Yeah. All right, so I'm doing that. Okay. So I heat it up. All right, and I fold it over just like that. All right, now I bring this. See that? Just like that. Just like that. And I fold it right there. And I can fold it this way. And I melt this together, okay? Let me show you. I take my material, melt this. Heat this up. All right, that's... And I push it in a the corner there like that and I push it against the side the, the curve and look at it voila beautiful heat this up and I fold it over see how I do it beautiful all right very 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 nicely done and then you heat up the bottom heat up this and look see that look i heated it up and look at it it's sealed this is sealed it's melted together and you're done and so this is, so a crucial point is this very corner, because when I do the overlapping, that corner is not sealed. You can see, look, screwdriver just went in there. I didn't even push it. Can I go in there? There's nothing to go in. And there, it's good, but here, yeah, you can see it goes in. So water would get in there. So there's two ways to, there's a few ways you can seal it. One is to get a piece of membrane, like an oval piece of membrane, and then cut it. Let me peel this off. And I, I want to see if I can do it for you. Cut it, oval, and then you cut yourself to like this way, and this way. See? So I got two slits in there. So you can do it either way, this way or this way see this so that's to make that to 
to cover that corner. You see that? So this is sticking, but I like it, it's not good enough. You take that piece and to make it a good seal, you just put a little bit of heat to it, like that. And I seal the bottom, the top, around the corner. Heat this up, just like that. Now this is technique is from Torchdown, and they don't show this for self peel and stick but that way you secure that that hole is closed and by really making it tight like that see that that's tight now no cannot leak there okay that's one way there's a corner that's hollow so just by doing this doesn't see it that corner is right there see there right there so you need to make that corner seal and show you and look that's nice but this is not sealed right there now all right you see that corner there it's open right there it's open so another easy way is to take the tar car neck See this garnet trowel grade, and you can just put a bead like this around there. See, just like that. That's the best way. Well, that's one of the ways. See, and that corner is now sealed. All right, an easy way to to, to seal that corner. But what I recommend is. If you have a corner open like this, I'm going to show you. I th the best way is to do it with turbo poly seal. Let me show you. Let me add turbo poly seal here in a corner on both sides, okay? And you need to fix that corner so it doesn't leak there. Let me show you. All right, so. To cut myself a fleece. And what you can do is cut a little bit this way and a little worse way. All right, and make sure you got turbo there, turbo there, turbo up, just like that. So now when you put this down, just like that. See that? That covers that corner. And look at it. Beautiful. The easiest way. That's the easiest way. And then you paint that over. Again. And you're done. That's the easiest way. And it's good, it's not gonna leak. See that? Like that. And just like that. You see that? Beautiful. And that corner is sealed, okay? That's when you come to difficult corners, then um, you seal it like that, okay? All you need to do is install the skylight on top. Install the skylight on top and the flashing is done. Very nice. Wow, that's beautiful. You see that? It looks nice. Yeah. The box is nice and clean. You can show on this side too. Mm -hmm. See? See that? Beautiful. Well, let me show you another trick. And this is to use a different product. <coughs> So we're going to use turbo poly seal. So if I, if I want to do the flashing against a skylight, let's say it's an existing skylight, an existing curb, I'm going to use turbo poly seal. And the easy way to do this transition from your roof 
to the cup is this way. Let me show you. Just do this. And you're done. Existing cyanide, you have to go over a material that's there already. If it's everything existing or new, you can do new as well. Doesn't matter. But um, it's the same principle. You need to seal, make flashing. Okay, so let me show you. <clears throat> this is simpler, easier, and will last. I cut it. On a video, it may look like toilet paper. It's not. People always ask me in the comments, what toilet paper did you use? What brand? I don't. This is not toilet paper. It's polyester fleece. It's a polyester fabric. So Very strong. Very, very strong. And that gives a strength. You go around like that. And the same thing again and then you paint over it and you have yourself flashing now I want to show you something else let me finish this up paint over the fleece you don't want that exposed to the Sun it will deteriorate the polyester okay but it's a very strong product once it's embedded into the poly uh, turbo poly seal very strong very 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 strong so that's how you do flashing here now I'm going to show you something else again this is easier than doing the membrane I want to show you yeah because you paint it yes yeah, very you. very easy no torch nothing you don't need extra tools very simple to do I did this uh, turbo poly seal flashing at the bottom here but Let's say you want to even continue um, with, the, uh, with the thing. You can also do this and it will be just as good. Look, you paint the whole flash uh, curb with this, just like that. And once you paint the curb, you, you're okay. You don't need to worry about anything. Now to make it even better, I would put fleece on that as well, just for make it a little bit better. Look at that. See that? And you have flashing the whole coop. You didn't have to buy anything else. That's what's so nice about this product. You can use it for many many purposes and the roofing is easy now this this is this is really easy you have a lot of the coins yeah put it uh, put it in the top right there so <coughs> now the flashing is done you can remove the tape very clean very neat and no. That's it. Look at it. Beautiful. Paint it on and you have your cell flashing that will last. It's just as good, better than anything else. No leaks. All right, so after you did the flashing with turbo poly seal, wherever you did it, it's a good policy to, to cover the turbo poly seal with silver coat protection. All right? Silver coat protection is very, very, very important. So, I did turbo poly seal this morning, and this is dry already. Beautiful, yeah. Yeah, it's nice, right? Mm -hmm. It looks good. And the most important is because it protects to give it more yeah. longer life. Yeah? yeah, and that will give it extended life of the turbo poly seal flashing. Very, very, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, because reflect the, the, yeah. the heat, you know? Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Mm. All right, so this comes to the end of doing the door pan and the skylight flashing. Uh, I'll post the next video on this side up 
to if you want to follow and that would be to flash around a bathroom vent uh, how to bring it up to the shingles a transition and a parapet wall and I'm gonna do the around the post here very important so watch the next video so you can see how all those details done that will help you to repair a roof or to install any roof or do flashing see you on the next video